former General Velimentov, played by Douglas Hodge, is heading into new territory as season 3 returns to UK screens on July 14, away from being manipulated by Catherine, Elle Fanning, and finding someone new. The British actor has revealed there could be some positive news for Velimentov on the horizon, as long as the drunk character plays his cards right. Speaking to Daily Express about how we find the Russian military men at the beginning of the new episodes, the actor stated, Hess, drunk, kind of as a lost as ever, I think self-medicating I think is the best word to say. This season he does sort of fall in love, well, he falls in love about every three minutes, Velament off. They always say oh, it's just lust but I always believe Hess a born romantic. So Terry's that to come. Don't miss. Win a pair of tickets to the Coronation Street experience, win. It seems that women in general proved to be an enigma for Velimentov. Throughout the show to date, he has grown close to Catherine as she knew to keep him on side when she decides to overthrow her husband. Over time, as Catherine found herself falling in love with husband Peter, despite her best efforts to hate him, it left everyone feeling a little out of their depth. None more so than Velimentov who had his own promises with Catherine that are still yet to materialize. Has confused about his position in the court because of course, Catherine has not behaved as she promised she was going to behave, Hodge laughed. Don't miss! Antiques Roadshow guest issues warning after eye-watering valuation of brooch, video, the repair shop star tells fans done and dusted as he wraps up series, latest. Carol Kirkwood pulled to the floor by Wimbledon search dog live on air, watch, ultimately though, Hodge believes the character plays a significant, if somewhat tragic, part within the 17th century world, and it's not one of a leading man in a romantic story, despite his hopes with Catherine and basically any women around him. I suppose I think of him as a true clown, Hodge explains someone who's therefore very, very sad, but fantastically funny. I think probably in his mind, has very, very worried about all the young soldiers who have died under his command. And I'm not sure, he thinks Hess a brilliant general. But I certainly don't think Hess grown up with any women. Has grown up entirely in men's company, outdoors in trenches, screaming and shouting. This is the kind of proper way to talk about him, really, Hodge added. An incredible violence, an incredible tough society, and when he comes back into court, just the smell of women and food and the taste of food and all that is sort of an extraordinary civilizing effect that it has on him. Not just civilizing, but it also sort of activates every sensical sense he has, and I think that Terry's a lovely sort of dichotomy in that. I think every night he wakes, worrying about the boys being killed on the front line and then has 16 vodkas and gets back to sleep and is an alcoholic. So has a sort of sad, bumbling mess of a person but I have a tremendous affection for him. The Great is available on Lionsgate Plus from July 14th. Melting